Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. In this video we are going to discuss about data loss prevention policies and later on we will see like how we can configure a DLP in our exchange server. So first of all let's have a look on what our data loss prevention policies are. So the data loss prevention policies is a kind of a mechanism which prevents a sensitive or a critical business information from leaking outside of your organization via email. Uh, for example, if you want your all the users not to send some critical information outside of your organization like phone numbers of your customers, like uh, credit card details of your customer, you want to restrict them, you can apply a data loss prevention policies and by applying this policy, all the information like your critical business information will not be leaked out from your organization even though if someone try to send that kind of an email. Though the transport rules are able to perform a simple searches, but if you talk about the DLP policies, they go beyond that to find the critical information in a more accurate way. Because DLP policies use deep content analysis through keyword matches, dictionary matches, regular expression evaluation and other content examination to detect content which violates the organization policies. There are three methods that you can use to create the DLP policies like one is the template provided by the Microsoft which includes uh, many DLP policy templates that you can use to create uh, DLP policies and uh, once you create those policies you can edit the policies to fine tune it to meet your requirements and this is the fastest way to get started with the DLP policies and the second method is uh, like you can use uh, policies from the non Microsoft vendor you can import these policies and the third way is uh, create a custom policies if the predefined policy templates do not meet your requirements you can create a, your own custom policy and one thing to note down here that like uh, if the sensitive information like uh, typically are not based on a uh, simple matching like uh, for example you can say like entering a number like one two three four five six seven eight 910 will not be identified as a credit card number like uh, for example if you type 1234 a, a 16 digit number in a series like 1234 it will not detect it as a, a credit card in information you need to have a number uh, that has a correct uh, checksum for a credit card and also include other information such as name of a uh, card type like Visa or Master. If you have a correct credit card number in an email and the type of a card like Visa, Master or you have expiration date in uh, email and that is a correct email, it will detect it as a credit card. But if you uh, type a simple number like 1,2,3,4,5,6 or 16 digit number or simple a date uh, like 12 slash 24, it will not detect it as a credit card number. And some of the rule in a DLP template include a policy tip and policy tip is a, a kind of a mail tip like it is similar to a mail tip uh, which means like whenever a user try to compose a message the policy tip is displayed in Outlook or in a Outlook web app and this allow the user to correct the issue before attempting to send the email message and also you can enforce or test the DLP policy rules before applying them like if you want to enforce it uh, it will be applied be but if you want to test it before apply you can test the DLP policies before enforcing it so let's move to our server and see how we can configure it so right now we are on a server and let's go to our exchange server and see how we can configure DLP policies so let me maximize it and in order to configure a DLP policy we have to go to the compliance management and here you can see the data loss prevention policy here you can see you can use policy tip to notify user about policy matches so in order to configure your policy tip you can just click on this uh, manage policy and click on add sign and this is a policy tip like notify the sender and you have other option like allow the sender to override block the message or link to compliance URL so let's select the notify to the sender and select the language to uh, English and the text like you are not authorized to send this email click on save and click on close so now we have configured the policy tip and in order to configure data loss prevention policy you have here plus sign 
and here you have a three option like new DLP policy from uh, templates new DLP policy from custom templates and new custom DLP policy so if you want to use a predefined template from the Microsoft you can use a new DLP policy from templates and uh, for example you can just uh, type like financial data and you have these uh, predefined uh, templates like Australia financial data Canada financial data and you have many more there so for example you select the option UK or US financial data you can just click on this and click on save now this policy have been set there and here you can just edit this policy and have a review the policy is enabled and test if you want to enforce it the policy will be enforced without testing and if you want to test the policy so you can select the option like test DLP policy with uh, policy tips and here you can see the rules these are the predefined rules applied to this message and for example if you see the high count if the message is sent outside the organization and the message contain type credit card number or US bank uh, account numbers or ABA routing number then it will do the following like it will notify the sender that the message can't be sent but allow the sender to override and provide the justification that means if the user will provide the justification he can send the message so let me cancel this and you have created this data loss prevention inside the compliance management and if you go and check with the mail flow you will see this rule like US financial data is there these rules have been created for the transport service so I'm going to just delete this and we will try to create a new custom policy like if you have imported some new custom template uh, third-party templates you can import them and use this option and we are using the new custom DLP policy and here I will just write the IP address block description is blocking internal IP address and the policy is enabled and so I'm just clicking enforce the policy click on save so whenever you are creating a custom policy the policy is empty right now so now we have a empty policy and we have to create a rule for this if you see the policy is enabled and enforced and you see the rules here there are no rules so we have to create a rules here you can create a new rule notify a sender when sensitive information is sent outside or block the message when sensitive information is sent outside or inside so I will select this option like block with the uh, block the message with sensitive information so now we have an option with on another window and here we can set our rule like if the message is going outside the organization but I want it for the inside the organization what we can do we can just select this option and we have select recipient location if it's a if you want to put this uh, restriction on the inside the organization you can just collect the uh, select the option like inside the organization and click on OK now the rule will apply on if the recipient is lying inside the organization and here we have select the sensitive information type what kind of information you want to restrict you can just click on this and click on add sign and select the IP address here the still there are a lot of predefined so I will select the IP and let's see if we have IP address here click on add and even you can set the credit card even as well let's see if we have a credit card here we have a credit card number here so we have added these two and click on OK and we will click on OK so now the condition is like apply this rule if the recipient is inside the organization and the sensitive information in the message is IP address or credit card number do the following what rule will be applied so it says like generate incident report and send to I want this report sent to administrator 
so we can set the administrator here and click on OK so the incident report will be sent to the administrator with the content so the custom content can be like sender, recipient, subject, matching content click on OK and here you can see notify the sender with the policy tip and block the message you can say here like you are not authorized to send the, this email and click on OK and now the rule is enforced and you can activate this rule you can schedule even this rule for the later dates but I want to activate it right now so I want to activate this rule and just click on save and here the rule activation date is before the current date and the activation date parameter will be ignored because the time schedule is for 3 p.m. and right now it's 3.26 so let's ignore this so now the rule has been created and see what will be happen if this email is sent if the email is sent to inside organization and the message contain any of these sensitive information type IP address or credit card number do the following notify the sender that the message can't be sent the user will be notified that the message can't be sent include the explanation like you are not authorized to send this email with the status code like 5.7.1 and send the incident report to administrator so let's click on save and now it is saved and if we go like we have created the data loss prevention policy here for our credit card and IP address and now if we go to the mail flow you can see the rule is there like send this scope inside the organization if you want to see this click on edit and all the conditions are there and here if you want to select the priority let's for example let's select it as 0 and click on save and again I am activating this rule and the DLP policy is IP address block so let's click on save now we have created our rule and it's saved now so let's have a look on our email and what option we get uh, while sending these uh, sensitive information to inside our organization so right now we are in a uh, mailbox for uh, user Jack and let's try to send an email to uh, another user inside a user that is Myra and let's see I will see the subject as IP address IP address is 192.168.3.12 and let's try to send this message and you can see we have delivery has been failed and you see the delivery has been failed to this recipients or group the message we have put there like you are not authorized to send this email and you can see here the your message wasn't delivered because the email admin from the organization created an email rule restriction so you cannot send this email if I try it again again we have an option like delivery has failed to this recipient so the rule is working now and let's see if we have a report uh, on an administrator or not email has been received by the administrator the IP address this is a server IP while Jack was sending the message the message was blocked for Myra and the message inc incident report was sent to an administrator so that means our rule is working fine you can see here it was sent from Jack and sent to Myra and the subject was IP address so it ID matches the ID match was the IP address value this context is IP address this so the rule matches and it uh, applies on the message so this way you can configure your DLP policy and you can just prevent your sensitive information from leaking out of your organization so I hope uh, guys you like the video please do subscribe the channel for more upcoming videos and let's meet in the next video